Royal Mayfair Golf and Country Club was founded in 1920. It still beautifies the same 174 acres in the North Saskatchewan River Valley. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip once visited Edmonton's most exclusive private golf course. Rob James is Mayfair's head professional. He and Superintendent Wade Peckham have overseen recent course improvements to be completed well before next season's Canadian Women's Open. Highlight changes to me are the water hazards. They've redesigned the perimeters of them, so all the railroad ties have been removed, and now it's a much more natural looking sloping grass into a rock perimeter, and it looks way more natural for a golf course. Uh, so I think the appearance of the water hazards is a, is a huge highlight change to the golf course. The drainage was redone, and we brought in a bunker sand. It's top quality out of the states in Idaho. A few courses have it in British Columbia. It sets up really firm, easy to hit out of, holds up on the face of the bunkers. Um, and the color's nice. The Royal Mayfair hosted the LPGA Tour in 2007. The world's leading ladies will be back in August 2013 and will notice subtle changes there. Naturally, the club's members want continual improvements despite months of course interruption. Well, this hole until last year was a par five, a relatively easy par five. Uh, the lake was a little different. We had railroad ties around it. Um, it was kind of a plain, uh, didn't look good. So they decided to uh, change the look, as Robin mentioned earlier, about bringing down the turf to the grass. We redid the liner underneath. We were losing water to, uh, underneath. We changed the tees, we moved them forward, and now it's become a par four. Um, we added some bunkers on the corner to make it a little more difficult for the bigger hitters. And in addition to uh, the changes here, we freed up some space for short game practice area uh, we've added, we've got two brand new greens back there, a couple big bunkers, a lot of chipping space, uh, ability for the pro shop or the golf shop staff to come out and do some teaching while people can practice on the other green. The range has changed. Uh, we have a new system called Turf Hound, and that's for the artificial mats. Um, it has actually kind of a rough with some fairway turf, and then we'll have a brand new surface out front of a boat a lot of thousand square feet so <laughs> what's the cost of the overhaul here this year the, the cost will be I'm gonna include uh, when we started in the fall of 2010 it'll be around two to two point two five million dollars so if the LPGA liked it here before it's a wonderful thing well, the challenges that we encountered in 07 with uh, bunker consistency and then the course conditions being a touch soft, those have both been addressed and we've, they're going to absolutely fall in love with the golf course. For those of them that uh, were here in 07, they'll enjoy it even more in 2013. Tim Dancy, Shaw TV, Capital Region.